my dear students let us uh, learn a frequently asked question in jms and neat continuously you all know this is a very simple question but many times have been regularly asked in many sessions of your jms also you can just see here so 2023 it is asked two times april 15th april and 20th january so january session as well as april session both the times it has been asked so i thought of discussing this problem with you in a simple way super super simple way so what is that here you know just see here so these two particles are rotating about a circle here and the radius of the circle is taken as r in the first problem it is taken as a in the second problem it is taken as r but both the problems are slightly different their nature of solution is same let me discuss about this problem here so when they are rotating the same circle you should understand one thing that they are having two forces one is centrifugal force another is gravitational force of attraction between them so how are you going to solve this problem you can just see so gravitational force is equal to centrifugal force these two forces counterbalance each other that's the reason why it is able to continuously move with the same center now let us see here both the particles are having same masses but the distance is taken as 2r because radius is taken as r so diameter is going to be 2r here so gravitational force can be taken as g m square by 2r whole square because g m1 m2 by r square no m both the masses are same so m square by 2r whole square it can also be taken as m v square by r that is going to be a formula for centrifugal force hope you understand so mm gets cancelled here and if you elaborate this one it's going to be gm by 4 r square is equal to v square by r so rr gets cancelled so what is v going to be v is going to be gm by 4 r so with this it is understood that the correct answer is a option but if he is asking to find out angular speed then what are you going to do a slight modification you have to do here instead of v you have to write r omega that's it and you have to write gm by 4 r that's it this r if you send inside then it is going to become how much omega is going to be gm by r if you send in the square it becomes r square so r square into r is going to become r cube that's it so you got angular velocity you got linear velocity therefore your answer in this case is a option in the second problem also a option a option is the correct answer hope you have enjoyed this thank you very much have a nice day